Hi everyone, it's Linnea here for LDRS Creative and today I'm introducing you to the A2 Envelope Box Die Set. This is a three-piece die set that will create an envelope gift box that is perfect for adding some note cards to and giving as a handmade gift. Now this is not going to create a shippable box, but instead this is going to create this cute little box that you can add cards to. I created six A2 sized cards and you can see that this fits in here nicely with a little bit of extra space. So I would say, depending on dimension, you can fit about six to eight cards in here because I do have some pieces of my cards popped up on foam. I should note as well that the largest die in this set measures approximately 7.8 inches by 6.5 inches. So you will need an extra large die cutting machine to use this die set. The packaging on the back shows exactly how many pieces you need to cut of, from each die to build your box. So you need two of each of the envelope flaps, two of the big, two of the small, and then one of the large rectangle pieces. These pieces all not only cut, but also add score lines. So you're going to see all of these score lines creased into the cardstock. I've just used white cardstock, and this is a heavy cardstock. It's about 110 pounds. So I like to start by gently folding over on that creased edge, and then I'm going to grab a bone folder and really reinforce that fold. That way, as I assemble my box, I can be sure that all of my scored edges are going to open and fold nicely. So you'll see here as I go, I'm just gently folding over and then creasing with my bone folder. There's one score line on each of those flaps, and then there are a few more on this base portion of the box. And as I go through and score these and fold these on the score lines, you're going to see how this forms into a little box. So already you can see here that that one large base piece is folding up and it kind of looks like the bottom of a box. And then as you add the flap pieces on, you can see that it's going to create that envelope shaped style gift box. So the large flaps go on the large edges of the rectangle and the small go on the small. I added some double sided tape, but you can use liquid adhesive if you prefer. You want to make sure that that flap is adhering to the inside of the gift box edge. I like to kind of fold that edge over a little bit so that I can make sure that those edges are butted up right against the inside of that box. I prefer to do it this way where I'm adding the flaps to the base of the box, but if you wanted to, you could lay the flap down on your work surface and adhere the base of the box to the flap, whichever way is easier for you. Here I'm going to show you that you can fold this up one of two ways. So you can create an A2 envelope box that is going to open on the short side or the long side. So like a traditional envelope would open, or if you wanted to, you can open one on the short side. And at the end of this video, I will have an example of both ways so you can see the difference. In this video, I decided to have this gift box open on the short edge. So first you need to decide how you want your flaps to lay, and you can lay these any which way. But I decided to start with the two large flaps and glue that center piece together. Now I have a little trick for you. I've already created my six cards. I showed you those in the beginning. I like to pop those into the box that gives me some stability and it helps me to make sure that I am going to line up these edges perfectly. Because I have my box already stuffed, it makes sure that I'm not overlapping these flaps too far or not far enough. So adding the cards in there just kind of helps it hold that rectangle shape. I added a little bit of liquid adhesive onto those center flaps. I gave that a second or two to dry. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom flap and just fold that up and press that on. And again, because I have my cards inside, it gives me that stability so I can really push and make sure that that glue is going to adhere. Then I'm just going to set that aside and let that dry for a little while. I'll even put my hands into the inside of the box and make sure that that glue is really strong and it's really going to hold on tight. Now next, you need to decide if you want to keep those flaps up at the top of your envelope or cut them off. And again, you'll see 
I did this both ways. So on this box, I'm going to cut off those flaps. I just felt that they were getting in the way a little bit. So I'm going to cut those off and just have this be the flap up at the top. But in my next example, you'll see that I kept them on. So now I have this flap opening on the short side and I have my cards on the inside. Let's decorate this A2 envelope gift box. I'm using some of the McKenna products. So I have the McKenna 12 by 12 paper pack, I have the ephemera, and I also have some of the puffy stickers. When I created my cards to go on the inside, I created some with the McKenna 12 by 12 papers, and you can see that I have some leftovers. I don't want those to go to waste. I'm going to use those on my gift box, so not only am I creating a no waste project, but it's sure to coordinate with the cards that I have on the inside of the gift box. So I have some of those strips of pattern paper and they just happen to be cut to the perfect width and it's the perfect height if I stack three of them on top of each other. So I'll play around with my patterns and then I have a piece from the ephemera pack and I'll add that on top of my pattern papers with a bit of foam. From there I'm just going to add some embellishments from the McKenna Puffy Stickers set. These stickers are so fun and I went through and grabbed some of these cute little houses and I'm going to add those over on the right hand side. I'm just going to play around. It's so fun to play with these stickers or with the ephemera. Just let your heart decide what you want to use and add that to the front of your gift box. So now the front of my box is completed and I wanted to create a way to make sure that that flap stays closed. You could use a little piece of Velcro, tiny little magnet, or even a tiny little bit of tape runner adhesive if you wanted to. But I thought it would be cute to use a piece of the McKenna ephemera and just kind of stick that on the back and tuck my flap into that. So here are two ways that you can create that A2 envelope gift box. This one is with the traditional envelope opening on the large side. You can see I left those two little flaps intact. Here's the one we created on camera today with the flap opening on the short end. And you can see here, I'm just gonna tuck that down into that piece of ephemera and that box is going to stay closed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.